Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm really excited because we are continuing our blog module series of tutorials. Today I am going to show you how to move the title, the metadata, and you know your excerpt and your button up over your featured image. So it'll just be your blog grid will become a grid of images, think of it that way, with the titles over top of the images and then when you hover we're even going to you know show you how you can make that stand out. I'm really excited about this. This is one of those tutorials I've been looking forward to doing in a long time. Now that we're in the blog series I can finally do it. I have a whole bunch in the blog series coming but let's, let's focus on this one and show you how you can do this. Alright so to get started here we are going to be adding some code. And I'm going to be showing you what that code is doing as we go along here. And let's just jump over to my demo right now because I want to show you something. Uh, right, the way the blog module works, it's actually made up of, you know, individual parts. So in, in the code, so there's this title, you know, we have the title and then there's the meta. So, you know, you might have the date or the categories or the author, things like that. And then you can have the excerpt on or off and then the read more button and yeah I guess I'll just say now but I I have a tutorial on this read more button um, I did that you know the previous one um, before this video came out and that's right here so you can go check that out we show you how you can change the text into a button we also show you how you can add an icon and we can even change the terminology so the actual text instead of saying read more you can say whatever else you want it to say. So we do have that. You can kind of see these are actual screenshots of before and after. Um, just really an improvement. So I guess I'm saying that because you'll probably want to do that, but I'm also saying it because I decided to apply it here so so that it can actually look good for this tutorial. So if you're wondering like how my read more button is, looks so nice, it's because I did that. You'll, you can check out that tutorial. So what we're going to do is we want to move this title and all this stuff over top of the image. And it's not going to be very difficult, but I want to explain what we're doing. Right now, if we were to, you know, add our CSS, we have two types of code here, jQuery and then CSS. And the problem would be if we were to not use jQuery and just use the CSS, it's not going to work very well because each one of these is separate elements, all right, like I was saying. So it just would be hard to get it to be positioned right and things would overlap and it would look terrible, especially when the screen size changes. So I'm doing a little trick here and that's going to be with this jQuery and I'll actually point this out. And by the way, we're going to need to put this either in Divi theme options, or if you have our free child theme that has the scripts.js, you can put it in there. Um, but what we're gonna do is point out what this is doing. So you can see the code here says PA blog. So we're going to be adding a class to our blog module. Let's just do that right away. Go in here to the advanced tab and the CSS class and just say PA-blog. Okay, and then I'm going to keep pointing out the code here because it's, it's kind of important this one is. So then we're targeting ETPB posts. So essentially that's each one of these blog posts, right, in the, in the blog module. And we're saying to find the entry title, the post meta, and the post content, and wrap all of those in one CSS class called PA blog text. So the very first step that we're doing is making each one of these separate elements into just one. And then we're going to move that just one up over the image. <laughs> All right. And if you're like totally lost, it doesn't matter. You know, you'll eventually learn, but just go ahead and copy it for now. So we need to copy that. And then I need to go into my theme options and go to Divi here, theme options. The other option would be to use a code module right on the page. I typically don't do that, but, and the other option again would be to use the child theme. I'm just gonna be putting in my theme options in the integration tab here in the head of your blog section. I'm just pasting that and saving. 
And then out here in my actual demo, I'm going to be refreshing this page. All right, so I've refreshed the page and you know, you're not gonna see any difference now. But again, now if you were to inspect the code, all of this, all these separate elements would be wrapped inside one called PA blog text. Great. Now let's move on to the next step and that's adding the CSS. And you know, I don't say it every time, but if you're on YouTube, always go to the blog post because that's where this, you know, the code is, so the copy and paste. So the CSS, you know, what is this doing? So the CSS is what's actually moving the title and the button and all that stuff up over top of the image. And we're also adding a couple other things um, and you'll see it, it'll be very like visual, you'll see it. And again, you know, the CSS code, you can add it to theme options or in your child theme, go to, you know, style.css. So I'm gonna copy the code. And for this example, I am going to put it right here in the page settings, advanced tab, and I already have some in here. That's styling this button. Again, that was from that other tutorial. So I'm gonna paste and boom they moved up. Now the first thing you'll probably notice is that it can't read it because it's dark. And the other thing is like, it's way too crowded. And that's totally true. So I think what I would do for this layout, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I'm going into the blog module here to the elements toggle. And I would turn some of these things off. If I'm doing this layout, I don't think I would show the date in the categories, you know, turn turn off the meta. It's just, it's just too crowded for me. In fact, I'm gonna turn off the excerpt. And by the way, when you're in the visual builder, sometimes the preview is not updated and don't, you know, don't worry. That's totally fine, that's expected. The visual builder is not CSS and HTML, it's React and it's hard to explain, but it's not the real code, it's faking it. So don't worry like for, if it flickers to like this right here, it doesn't matter. It will, it'll be fine on the page. So what, another thing we need to do, you notice this title is dark when it was up over here, you could hardly see it. So let's go. I think there's a couple things we can do. I think you can go to the text. Well, maybe not. Usually you can go to text and turn it from light to dark, you know, but okay. Just for this one, I know I'm using in you know, the age two. Let's just make it white. But yeah, of course we can't see it now. That's fine. So we've made it white. And now in the CSS, Another thing that we are doing, this last part here, we're actually adding a dark overlay, and that's this here, the background. It's just, you know, um, a black that's, you know, 50% opacity, and look, they're popped back, so whatever. Um, you can see this dark, and I'll, why don't I just take it off just to show you, because I kind of pasted it all at once, and it was hard to see. So this, like I said, this last section in the CSS, if I just remove that, you see what I mean? Like the images, it's a little harder to read the text. You know, it just, it doesn't really work. Everything clashes. Well, you can't really pick the, a collar that works, black or white or red, it wouldn't work. So by putting that in there, we're just, we're adding an overlay over the whole thing. And I guess I should point out, you can't just use the overlay in the module here, in the design tab here, you'll see overlay. And you might say, well, why not use that well, the problem with using this is it's not at the right Z index. Um, it puts it like at the wrong place in, well, you know, Z index, think of it as position. When you're looking at your computer screen, some objects are closer to your eyes and some are further away from your eyes. And it puts that overlay at the wrong place. So by, by using my code, it just solves the problem. And you can change that 0.5 to anything you want. Like maybe I want it 0.85. I want it really dark, right? Or maybe I just point, you know, two five, whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna put it back to 0.5 because I liked it. And this right here is what I was going for. Just having the title and the read more button. I really like this. I think this looks really cool. That's the tutorial right there. And again, you can turn on and off the meta and whatever, you know, I just think it was a little too crowded. Um, and maybe you don't even want the button. I don't know. Maybe you just wanted, maybe you do really want the categories and date. And then of course we'd have to change the meta text to something later. You know, that's fine. I don't think that looks bad, but maybe not having the excerpt is the best way. But anyway, 
And now you can kind of just go and do any of your design, you know, change the size of this title, you know, change the colors, whatever, you know, you want to do now. That's kind of how the tutorial ends. It just says, you know, adjusting the settings, maybe the border um, or removing the border. Actually, yeah, you can't actually see it. That's a really good point. You know, on the block module, each post has like a one pixel border here. I'll show you. See, right there it is. It's this gray one pixel border. You can't see it here. I'll, I'll prove it. There it is. I don't know why it comes with that. It's kind of ugly, but let's just, just make that zero or, you know, set it to transparent or whatever. Um, let's see. Can we do this too? Yeah, that looks cool. There you go. I hope you guys like this. Um, I was kind of building up to this tutorial. Like I, I specifically did the, the one on the read more button, you know, the week before. I did this one and we have another one coming where I'm going to try to kind of combine everything. Remember the one we had on the zoom effect? So we're going to kind of combine all of them and just kind of make all of our blog tutorials into one. We have a few more before we get to that because again, I, I try to like schedule out how these come where, you know, when I'm doing this one, you see how I had already had the one on the read more button because I just you know, wanted that to be done to make it look better. But there you go. I, I really like this. Um, we can actually do the same thing to like the portfolio to a WooCommerce shop module. I'm probably going to just make separate tutorials. Th they're going to be very similar. It's just the CSS classes and, you know, the, the code that you put in the jQuery will be different. But yeah, let me know what you guys you know, think of this and yeah, I'm hoping for anything else that you guys want me to do on the blog module. All right. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed learning how to move the title and the button and, you know, maybe some of the other text there over the featured image in the Divi blog module. If you enjoy that, then be sure to be checking out our whole series on the blog, but also just in general, you know, this is the type of stuff we do on this channel. And that's why we have so many subscribers just following along because they like that I'm strictly, you know, focused here on Divi and web design and teaching you tricks and little things along the way to make your Divi websites better. All right. Well, we'll see you guys in the next video.